ดรเทดรอสสวัสดีครับ Excellencies Distinguished Guests Ladies and Gentlemen We all gather here today because we believe that social participation is a foundation of responsive primary health care universal health coverage and health security I am therefore grateful to deliver a welcome speech to this significant side event and delighted to see other member states join forces advocating this issue forward with Thailand. Thailand had been through the COVID situation well with the whole of government approach to mainstream health in our policies and the whole of society approach which engages our partners, public and private sectors, and most important ones are citizens, communities, and civil societies. Participation of citizens makes the health system more resilient. More than 1 million health volunteers in Thailand have joined hands with local health staff and communities in response to the pandemic. Community health chartered specifically for COVID response was developed by health staff and communities to determine their COVID prevention and control measures to fit into their area context. We could do so in the time of crisis because we have laid the first brick of social participation since the primary health care era. We put emphasis on three areas. First, the creation of participatory spaces. Thailand has convened the National Health Assembly for 15 years, which emphasized on inclusive participation from the government, academia, profession and people sector throughout the process. The assembly is an integral part in setting and driving health agenda effectively in our country. Second, continuous investment in both resources and human development. Community Health Fund, which is made up of matching contributions from the National Health Security Office and local government for proactive prevention and promotion activities in the commodities. Furthermore, we have 2% surcharge of tobacco and alcohol excise taxes that advance health promotion and engage civil societies in these activities. And last, having laws and regulations in place. The National Health Act in 2007 is an example of a law that opens the door for civil societies to be a member of the National Health Commission, which is chaired by the Prime Minister himself, in equal ratio with those of the government and academia. My dear friends, social participation is crucial to healthcare. We are here with the aim to institutionalize social participation before the next crisis. There are many good examples from the member states attending the side event today, doing well on social participation practice. We will certainly learn from each other, and I wish to see more and more implementation in various country contexts. I hope that social participation to support our health common visions will be brought up to discuss at this assembly in the year to come. We need all of you here to walk the talk. Thank you very much.